February, what is the date, honey? It's the 23rd. February 23rd. It's been a while since we've been out on the road. Getting kind of an early start here at 831. Leaving God's country to go to God's country. Nah, scrap that. Anyway, it's not a winter trip. It's not a spring break trip. It's just a trip. And uh, yeah, we're on our way to Monument Valley. First stop. Oklahoma, Route 66. Let's go get the doggo out. Second stop, making breakfast. Got the doggo. McDonald's over I-44. Here's all we got going for lunch. Our favorite, my favorite. Got the tortillas, got the eggs, which the people of Sriracha start, you know, getting their shit together and making our stuff again, but you know, make do with what you got. A little roadside taco action, breakfast tacos. There we are, about uh, two and a half hours from Amarillo. We're kind of skirting along the old Route 66. We're at the uh, Cherokee Trading Post, yeah. At the old Cherokee restaurant, moccasins, pottery, whatever you want there. Yeah. Gonna go down and look at the buffalo. So Pro Master getting 22 miles a gallon. We're still in Oklahoma. Doing good, first day. Well, I had a great night of sleep. There's hardly any noise. Six thirty in the morning. Right outside of Amarillo. Gonna make some coffee and uh, try to figure out why these guys are so quiet all night. Yeah. Getting ready to take off this morning. Got the little morning coffee routine going. Got the coffee bar. Didn't sleep real good last night. Got our heating situation figured out. We're gonna put it on 15 degrees Celsius. Got a little cold in here last night. So yeah, just packing up, getting ready to roll. Right, Gus? Just got into New Mexico, walking the dog at the visitor center. Ladies were real helpful here. Gave us a travel brochure with maps and everything. Neat little travel center. It's about 30 minutes outside of Tucum Carry. You guys can pronounce that. Glen Rio Visitor. New Mexico Department of Transportation. Walking the little doggo. Getting him some exercise. Heading to Tucum Carry. Actually made it to a town called Cuba. 1769. Original Spanish settlers. 35 families didn't make it. Had a little conflict here with Native American tribes. The uh, ranger station here, Santa Fe National Forest, is closed on Saturday. But we decided to stop here, feed the doggo, get uh, Gus some dinner, and uh, get some steps in, and keep heading that way. Going towards Farmington, and uh, headed to casino country. We're going to try to stay as close as we can to Monument Valley tonight, and uh, Try to make it in tomorrow morning. Good morning. Hey, Gus. Gus. Day three. Getting our coffee ready. Made it to Farmington, New Mexico last night. We're about two and a half hours outside of Monument Valley. Farmington's waking up. Kinda. At our uh, favorite McDonald's location. It got down to 27 degrees last night. So diesel heater was definitely in full motion. Anyway, waking up, 
Gus is chewing on his leash. That's nice. That's good. Gonna be a great day. Probably recognize this. This is Mexican hat. These are campsites all throughout here that you could uh, register online. And uh, yeah, get yourself a campsite. There's Doggo. Thinking about making breakfast here and then going on down that way to uh, Monument Valley. Off in the distance there, about 13, 14 miles away, I believe. Maybe wrong on that. Anyway, there's Mexican Hat. <laughs> I'm pretty tired. I think I'll go home now. It's the Forest Cup Highway. Pretty cool. Heading to Monument Valley. Film, video, just doesn't capture it. Neither does the motion picture. <laughs> Monument Valley. Video doesn't do it justice. It doesn't. Here we are in uh, gorgeous Monument Valley. Gonna cook our lunch right here at Three Sisters. Road is not bad. It's probably all you'll ever want to take your uh, Pro Master on. I mean, it's there, there's some sketchy parts. Up ahead, there is a one-way loop. Um, we're going to explore that after lunch. I don't think we're going to be doing the full 17 miles. Uh, we're going to go in. There's a couple of vistas we do want to try to check out. But as far as doing that extra nine-mile one-way loop, mm, probably not. So here we are, Monument Valley, taking it all in. Last night we didn't have a reservation here on the South Rim, but we got into a Grand Canyon National Park. This is the Sage area. I think it's for uh, horse trailers. Um, really warm, beautiful spot. Uh, got down to about 41 degrees last night. Bathrooms heated. Sun's coming up. It's gonna be a cloudy day. A lot of wind today. It's Monday morning. Uh, we're gonna go back and see the sunrise and. Hopefully get some different light or perspective on the uh, Grand Canyon before we head on down to Sedona. But yeah, we had a great camping spot last night. Really no one here. Uh, we had a couple of visitors, um, but they left early this morning. And uh, yeah, neat place, neat camping spot. There you go, there you go. Come on, pup, come on.
Where are we at, Mommy? The Slide Rock State Park in Sedona, Arizona. That's right. First trip on the Razor. Not a lot of visitors today. There was one place we almost got stuck. It was kind of scary. But uh, we stayed on the gas, never let off, and uh, just crawled through. It was, yeah, it was one of those moments that uh, you're thinking, hey, we may not make it out here without you know a little bit of help. Doing the boardwalk. Enter Dune boardwalk. The old uh, White Sands National, White Sands National Park. No stop to Alamogordo, Mexico would be complete without a uh, visit to the Space Center Museum. We're contemplating going over and seeing the Trinity site. I don't know if that's available to the public or not. We're going to have to look that up. Trinity site. We're just big fans of the Oppenheimer movie. Couldn't believe the uh, Right over there, probably ought to walk over there, but V2 rocket, Berner von Braun, a lot of stuff on the Nazis of Puma and, and uh, rocket propulsion. I would strongly, if you are a fan of NASA, visited Cocoa Beach a few years ago. If you're a fan of NASA, I would strongly recommend coming here. This was really an incredible museum. Valina.
breakfast tacos for it in old Mexico. Thank <laughs> you.